Hi everybody and welcome back to our Corvette channel. Yes, I'm getting an early morning start for today's video. Even though you may be catching this after lunchtime or later in the evening, you're here now. Thank you for joining our channel and thanks for supporting it. Uh, we just hit 29,000 subscribers. Not me, we, together we did this. And uh, I, that means a lot, it really does. We've got such a great strong core of people here that are interested in solid information, fun information about a car that we all enjoy and are extremely curious about. Hey, I gotta thank you guys for yesterday's Coffee with Conti show. Uh, incredible comments, I haven't had a chance to read through all of them yet. There's over 300 at the time of doing this video now and they're growing and it seems like Seems like you guys enjoyed uh, the different atmosphere that we had that we were talking about the car. I mean, I was going to go through the Chevy.com site and go through and click and show you on screen as we built it all up, but that's been done a lot. I just wanted to have a conversation with you guys and then pop in pictures about some of the things that we were talking about. And as you can see, there was a lot of thought process in the order. Uh, I'm not afraid to say what I'm thinking uh, because when it comes to this car and the amount of money that you're spending, I think candor sometimes is also a great value. So again, thanks everybody for the support. I really do appreciate it. Mm. Yeah, I told you early morning start to get this video going. And I, I don't know, I'm on this, um, I'm on this blueberry muffin kick lately. <laughs> I still have my scrambled eggs and stuff in the morning, but right here, check this thing out. Yeah. Okay, now step back. <laughs> it's a blueberry muffin. This is from Tim Hortons. Oh my gosh, this is great. So as I'm starting the day filming this upload, I'm thinking about the morning Corvette drive thing that we've been talking about. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, guys. Um, in regards to the Corvette morning drive program that we wanna do from time to time and actually may end up being more frequently than you think, just another element to the Corvette lifestyle that we'll integrate into this channel. But uh, I'm getting a lot of requests from you guys. And I really appreciate that. I'm actually making a list because you just never know when I'm gonna be in your area. And I think because that idea formulated with my buddy Pete in Michigan, I think that the first episode rightfully has to be driving his Black Rose Grand Sport convertible up in Michigan. Now their weather turns a little faster than it does here in central Ohio, so I'm really hoping that in the coming weeks we can get that together for you guys and just share again a casual conversation with myself and a Corvette owner and their Corvette. What I have for you guys today is compliments of the National Corvette Museum during their Labor Day celebration. Kai Spandy, the assembly plant manager, did a great seminar. I'm not gonna share it all, but some key points right now for those of you that are, that are ordering a car, that have a car on order, that have, and it's funny that, um, it's actually really funny to me, that they really do watch the forums, they watch the YouTube channels, they watch the social media. In fact, they're quoting a lot of you guys in this seminar. Why is my red car not built when his red car was ordered after mine and all this kind of stuff? Those are real questions and they're addressed in today's video. Understanding the build processes and the delays and some of the myths out there that some of you, there's and I know it's hard, you're watching my channel, but there's so many people out there trying so hard to be um, an authority per se, or make a video, have clickbait, and create drama about this car where we're, good or bad, we're gonna tell what is going on uh, because of our retail entity involved with Corvette so you can make an informed decision and just so you really do know what's going on. So a lot of the things that Kai's talking about today are gonna to seem similar because you've heard us talk about that because we do have a very good understanding of the order process. Uh, and I told you guys that the C8 car is a longer build process. I'm really hoping that the second shift is gonna be our savior for increased volumes and so forth. And there's even options that if you order, and he talks about it, about the front lift and how that could delay an order a little bit because it takes a little longer to build that particular car. So that's what I have for you today. A candid conversation, a great guy, the Corvette assembly plant manager, Kai Spandy, talking about what it takes and what's going on when you order and when they build your C8 Corvette. First of all, coupe and convertible. Um, we cannot make 100% coupes or 100% convertibles at any given time. So the way that we source our parts, we try to predict what the fraction might be. And, uh, and then the different cars have different work content. So 
coupe and convertible is the easiest example. A convertible, when you install that convertible top, it takes more time to, to do than uh, a coupe. And in this case, the workload in those specific stations are exaggerated a little bit. It's not a problem if you do one. It's a problem if you do two, three, four in a row. What you'll end up doing is you'll end up slowing everything down. So when we schedule building of cars, we typically never build coupe or convertibles back to back. And then various options. And the, the example here is the what we call E60. E60 is the 2020 Stingray front end lift system. That also takes uh, two issues. It takes more um, energy or specific uh, work content to install all of those systems. Um, it also takes parts. And as I mentioned before, we don't source every car to have every option. Um, so every car, if, if you ordered a car with E60, um, and many people have, it's much more popular than we thought. Um, it might take a little bit longer for us to get to that car. <laughs> Hello? I'm not even going to clip this thing on. Hi guys, sorry to jump in here and cut the video short and interrupt the video and re-upload today's video. Apparently, which was not intended, I'd stepped on some toes by uploading and sharing part of the seminar from the National Corvette Museum's Labor Day celebration with Corvette plant manager Kai Spandy, and I do apologize. Um, you guys know I'm a National Corvette Museum lifetime member, and many things we do on the channel is to encourage you to partake in their events, buy merchandise at their store. You guys ask me, cause, hey, Rick, where'd you get that hat? Where'd you get that shirt? Oh, hey, I didn't know about the track experience. I can go to the track and drive a C8 right now. Yes, you can, and many of you have on our recommendation and promoting of the National Corvette Museum on this channel. So, and I understand some of the copyright laws and what have you, so I did give credit to the museum for that video, but I shared a lot of it, not all of it, but I did share a lot of it. Um, so I didn't know that that was gonna be a problem, but I respect that they do spend, uh, not only at the Labor Day celebration, but also at the bash back in April, they spent a lot of money to bring those wonderful presentations to us. And it was my impression that, as I've always done, is to share that with the masses the Corvette enthusiasts and would-be future Corvette owners. And uh, so I, I, I don't know, I'm a little lost right now, so I do apologize. Um, so I'm sorry for that. You know, I'm thinking about all the times that I've, for years, I've gone to these events and shared them with you on the channel in hopes that not only you were informed with current marketplace, but you'd say, hey, you know what? That looked like a lot of fun. That's something I've never done. I need to be there hanging out with Corvette people at the Corvette Museum. Yeah, that's, that's a trip I've got to put on my bucket list and something that you want to return to again and again and again. And here's my thought on this year. I think this year is this year. I don't think what we're going through this year will happen next year. We're all trying to survive and find a positive and move forward from this year. And I think with the great things that the museum brings to us as fans, owners, and enthusiasts, that if they, just my opinion, instead of just charging to see that to a select group, if they, knowing that this year is only this year, that they open that up to everybody. Hey, folks in California, Texas, Florida, you've never been here to the Corvette Museum? Here's what we do for you. People go, wow, I can, say, I can come and talk to the plant manager in person. I can talk to the Corvette engineer, the marketing guy, design engineers. I can see new product. Wow, that, those are great events. That's something I do want to partake in that many still don't know yet. So if it was presented without paying for it, wide open, do the nice presentations as they've done. I've seen many of them. And it might encourage many of you and more people to go that never have gone before. Now going forward, I will honor the Corvette Museum's wishes not to share any of their paid seminars. My goal is always to promote this car, the lifestyle, to the masses. So again, my apologies. I appreciate you guys joining us today. There is a link down below in the description. They have a lot of great content on the Corvette Museum YouTube channel. Check it out. And um, I hope to see you guys tomorrow.